Welcome back to the <sighs> endless fucking intro dungeon. Goodbye, you Jimbo. To be fair to the people that made this game, this dungeon sets up pretty much everything you need to know about the main antagonist of the game without telling you a damn thing, and it's actually really good story writing. Oh yes, absolutely. It's just you never ever ever want to do it more than once. Yep. Like this is like in KOTOR 2, which may or may not be on the channel by the time you guys watch this, there's an option to skip the lengthy tutorial because, you know, you don't want to do it more than once. Mm-hmm. I wish there was an option to... Found a trap. Wow. To skip the whole Paragus facility, but, you know. That is That's a shitload of XP for a trap. Mm-hmm. Which I think only goes to the thief. I hope so. Alright, here's where we need to use these want these keys. If you search for, like, the... If you search for traps... Whoa! No, 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 no! What are you doing? Don't fuck it! You guys are stupid! AI, please. AI, please. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Turn off the lantern in the lower right. It turns off party AI. Okay. Nature could find a home here if it were properly cleansed and balanced. Yay, I turned off that one. You can see the symbols on the ground are kind of uh, the spells that we need to turn yes. off. Yes. Click. Summon monster. Click. Lightning. Click. Cloud kill. Click. All right. All of them are turned off. We also got wands that do all of those things. Frost, lightning, fireball, cloud kill, all that stuff, which sounds really great. They all have exactly one charge. Where are Lame. you going? Let me have a taste. Come. The fuck? It's a oh, the goddamn vampires. Oh, we get to deal with level drain again. Mm-hmm. Yay. Did you just try to cast horror at a fucking vamp? Man? You stupid twice? You stupid Look, I have mage. the AI set to just do its own thing. What do you Not want? Not you, the fucking NPC mage. Oh, well, yeah, that's that's retarded. Also, there was no point in coming in here because the vampire is gone. Cool. Cool. Hey, there's something over here. Oh, yeah, there's the statue. Do, 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 do. Ring! Looks okay. like a ring of the princes, but I can't identify it because I'm stupid. Uh, Imoen has an identify spell. Uh, did you already go down the middle path? Uh, I didn't open the door at the end, but yeah, I went down it. Okay, so let's go down the... Because that path leads out. I know that much. At least I think it does. Well, we can always double back. Nope, this path leads out. Never mind. Get me out of this hell. <laughs> it's Frenadan! Ah, surely you cannot be my captors come to torment an old man within his glass prison. You look like none others I have seen here. No, I am not your captor. I was recently a prisoner myself. Oh, glorious praise to you, then, that you have freed yourself. Can you not see your way to helping an old man to his own freedom, then? Uh, how can I get you out, bro? This will not turn poorly at all. He seems like a tight. nice fellow. I want to release him specifically because there's, like, five things in his room. And that's the only reason. Ow, ow! Ow! What the fuck? I got a scroll of invisibility if you want it. Uh, not particularly. It's not improved invisibility, I know. Well, I mean, my inventory is just completely full, so... Thanks for freeing me. I'm not being troublesome, am I? I mean no harm. Um... Whoever you are, whatever you are, I've decided to end your existence just in case. No, it is nothing. What? I don't want you to follow me out. 
Well. Uh, do you know anything about the prison such as a way out? God sure you don't know who is behind all of this? Anything you can tell me would be most useful. Dude, dude, seriously, personal space. Personal space, please. No, we're both. Good mother! Sweet fuck. Jesus. Glad I was not in that room. If you come out, I can lay on hands and fondle you. Uh, I'm, I'm alright, thanks. I, I don't really want to be fondled. You say that, but you've enjoyed my fondling in the past. Well, yes, but now we're in uh, in creepy torture dungeon. This this isn't the place, Dave. We can uh, have a cuddle <laughs> party later. Oh. Four magic arrows, bleh. And this another again. scroll that I can't carry. Well, I guess we can give it to the NPCs. I couldn't hear you over Yoshimitsu talking. What did you say? I said there's a bunch of stuff in here, but uh, my inventory's full, so the NPCs are going to have to carry all of it. Okay. Was there anything good? No. Magic bullets. There was a portal key. Uh, did you grab that? Yes. Okay. Well, apparently Frededen wants to follow you now. Oh, great. So what's up the top path here? I don't know. There's something. <laughs> uh, I think we broke Frenadin. No, nope, there he is. Good riddance. Yeah, he's not going to attack us at all. I mean, he's... Oh, he seems uh, like a nice no. guy. Ow. It's a doppelganger! Shocking. Uh... Oh. A doppelganger that's unarmed and can only do non-lethal damage. <laughs> what the fuck? That's not right. Oh my god, you hear you're so bad you can't even hit a goblin. Uh Frederick gave us three thousand hit XP. Thank you, fuck. Did you hear it, please? Hey, uh, I don't know if it's in this game, but in Enhanced Edition 1, there was an option to turn off uh, extra attacks, like the ones that aren't actually being made, that are just there for show. You should turn that on. What? Uh, I will. Hold on. Next time. Great, mage. Of course it's a mage. Why wouldn't it be? Ow. Well, the mage is dead. Jahir is dying. I, I noticed. I noticed, I just didn't care. Money, potion, charm person, which is not that helpful. Money. Those are both locked. Magic bolts that nobody cares about. Okay, let me see if I can find this mythical option. Ooh, a magic girdle. No cosmetic attacks. Show only attacks. Uh, show attack animations only when characters are making real attacks. Yes, that would be good. Otherwise, characters go through attack animations throughout a roll to simulate fainting and dodging. As cool as it looks, it's nicer to know when your characters are just flailing about. Yep. Uh, have we rested? Uh, Did you no. search that uh, that mage, by the way? I didn't actually look at his stuff. Uh, no, I have not. I've been doing other things. More important things? Yes. Nothing's more important than that. Ooh, armor class plus four versus crushing attacks. That sounds terrible. But we can sell it at least. Versus crushing attacks? Yeah, yeah, there's nothing that really uses crushing attacks consistent. I've never found the crushing, piercing stab. Uh, no, it's a fucking terrible system. Slashing? Yeah, thing to be that helpful. I mean, I can see where it would be helpful. And I think it. Did you ever. You don't play JRPGs, right? Oh, God, no. So in Persona 3, they had like a whole damage system for elemental damage plus. 
slashing, piercing, and and bludgeoning damage. Uh huh. And things could specifically be weak against slashing, piercing, uh-huh. and bludgeoning, or anything in between. And then in Persona 4, it was just physical attacks, and it was so much better. <laughs> yeah. I'll just put an end to this here and now. We'll see you at the end of Verenicus and your little guild war before this day is through. Guild war? What are you talking about? I just want out of this dungeon. You can talk all you wish, but it will do you no good. Everyone in this place has either attacked or tried to lie their way into my confidence. Uh. But I have been a prisoner of Irenicus. I will help fight him. I will not believe you. To take an ally from the heart of the beast would be foolish, to say the least. You'll not escape without a battle here. Your master dies above and you shall join him. I just want to leave. You and your guild die no matter your words. This assassin casts magic. Also, there's an invisible dude. Also, the assassin is dead. I leveled. Also, you leveled up again. God, we must have been really close to that fucking level cap. We were. It was painful. Remember when we played... Remember when we played, uh... Dungeons and Dragons, the arcade game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and who was those playing the elf? Was it you or yeah. was it? Yeah. And you were like, "Why am I not leveling up?" Oh, max levels. Right. Yeah, that was a thing. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see what I get from this level. Ooh, it's my thief level. Yay! Which means like I get to bump up fine traps to a hundred, and open locks also to a hundred. AKA, you now have an almost perfect chance of finding locks, or of opening locks and finding traps. Almost but, perfect, yes. Yeah, you can get that above 100 and it doesn't matter. There's always going to be a chance that you don't see it. Oh, yeah. So let's see, what weapon should I pick? Uh, let's see. Crossbow, club, dagger. Pick long sword or short sword? Uh, choices, choices. Already proficient in ranged and melee weapons, though. But I um, guess I'll pick short swords holy since Christ. no one else in the party uses them. What? Uh, so when I checked my stats towards the beginning of the dungeon, I was at 110, 115,000 XP. Uh-huh. I'm at 141,000. Sounds about right. Jesus. I'm at 70,000 in both of my classes. This it's pretty is great. The fucking intro to- There's a lot of dead bodies here. I don't know if you've noticed this. Yeah. So it's uh, we come searched to my everywhere. Attention. We very much have. Let's get out. I'd like to leave. Wait, wait. Before we go anywhere, so that we don't have to uh, spend a bunch of nights at the inn, why don't you turn on rest until healed and then let's take a nap? Because it doesn't work in multiplayer, it says. R- rest until healed doesn't work? I'll try it. Hold on. Yeah. We rest oh. an entire day. Huh. Okay. All right, now let's go. Whatever. Wait. Damn it, I meant to save the game. Oh, apparently I'm doing that anyway. Well, yeah. The tunnel slopes Well, that was the intro. Into the welcome glare of daylight. Such is your relief that you barely notice the debris at your feet. The remnants of a battle fought only moments before. Surveying the carnage, you hear a scream of rage, and a massive explosion collapses the passage behind you. The sounds of combat greet you as you struggle to your feet. The fight, it seems, is still going strong. Waiting for other players. So that's literally you the dare prologue. To attack me. It took us an hour and a half to get to. Do you it. even know yep. who you face? Some guy named Arenicus? You will suffer. You will all suffer. That's a cool animation pose for that thief. I want one. <laughs> so, Godchild, you have escaped. You are more resourceful than I had thought. You're not going to torture right. us any longer. Torture? Silly girl, you just don't understand what I'm doing, do you? I don't care what nope. you're doing. Let us go. I won't let you leave, not when I'm so close to unlocking your power. We don't want anything from you. Enough! I will no longer listen to the babbling of ignorant children. He just fucking no-sells some magic missile. Yep. This is an unsanctioned use 
of magical energy. Where were you All like 15 minutes ago? This disturbance is over. Must I be interrupted at every turn? Enough of this. <sighs> exploded. Dead. Exploded. Exploded. This major power is immense. We must overcome him quickly. Enough. I haven't the time for this. You will cease your spell casting and come with us. Your pathetic magics are useless. Let this end. Even if we fall, our numbers are many. You will be overwhelmed. You, bore you can only memorize so many spells a day. You may take me in, but you will take the girl as well. What? No. I've done nothing wrong. You have been involved in illegal use of magic. You will come with us. I'm not going with him. I'm not. Help me. Bye, Emma. Hey, Levels. No, this cannot be. The murderer of Dina flees from righteous butt-kicking vengeance. And he takes Imo in with him too. As you, apparently. Something must be done, Dalen. We must find this evil wizard. All oh, that his goodness cries out for this even little boo, though he cannot cry quite so loudly. I find it odd that this Irenicus would leave of his own volition. And why take Imo in when it is Dalen he is so obviously interested in? Perhaps he expects us to give chase? We must step carefully, then. We know little about him. Whom he was fighting, who took him, or even where we are. We seem to be drawn into machinations, not of our own making. No, we must go quickly and save our friend Imoen. The wizard may be leering over her evilly even now. Do not be foolish, Minsk. We must know our enemies and the extent of our danger here, before we rush into anything. The druid is right, my large friend. The wizard obviously had great power, and I doubt that we have seen the last of him. Perhaps we should see if allies can be found here. Like, say, a sixth party member. Or an entire guild. I mean, that'd be cool, too. Uh, so, mm. fully leveled, and... Or fully healed. And uh, I also leveled up, so cool. GG. Uh, Thacker reduced by one, so now it's nine. Uh, good, possibly good. eight. Uh, lay on hands increased by two. Additional hit points gained 15. Lore increased by one. <laughs> I only need 123,000 more XP to level. Holy fuck. <clears throat> uh, my Thacko, my effective Thacko with the weapon that I am currently equipped with is... Where is it? Seven. <laughs> See what? <laughs> Holy shit! My that goes fifteen. That's pretty good for a mage. It's pretty well, shitty yeah, for a still. thief, but pretty good for a mage. I mean, Yojimbo's is only fourteen, uh, and so is Jahiro's. Is, yeah. I mean, you're not fighters, so it kind of makes sense. Yeah, but still, goddamn. All right. So before we do anything else, welcome to Om. Um, this place is a shithole. No if we are to cast cities. magic here at Our any time, we will one. be attacked. And uh, it's not easy for us to survive at this point. It is possible later, but not now. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff that we can and will do here. This place is literally um, a city of adventure. We can go anywhere and find a quest. But the first thing that we're going to do is leave this particular area and go to the slums. Lamb. Fuck. No, there's reasons for that. Well, I know, but, like, we should totally go to the circus, because, I mean, it's... You just want Aerie. Shut up. Yes, I do just want Aerie. She's the best. <laughs> she can cast divine and arcane magic. She's so cool. Also, she's adorable. Everywhere is unreachable except for the slums. Cool. You'd be the one I'd be looking for, if I'm not be mistaken. Mm, yes, I am here. What is it you want? want? But what I can be doing for you. You might be wanting information about a young lass arrested by the wizards on your arrival yet, I? You're talking about Imoen? What do you know about her? Oh, Imoen, hey, that be her name. Young lass made the misfortune of casting a spell or two in a city that frowns on such business. What Bad accent is was. that? You be uh, Faerunian. 
Oh, wait, I think I can place it. Hold on, let me think about this for a second. Right, it's awful. All right. <laughs> I don't know who I'm dealing with first. Thanks for being an idiot if I haven't gone and forgotten my manners. Uh, my name be Galen Bale. You needn't stretch your brain thinking. I'd be sure it's a name you haven't heard. I've heard of him, Dalen. At least a little. He is a man with many connections among the underworld in the city. Man of his word, too, as far as that is concerned. You be renowned enough that someone might be willing to find this Imuin for you, or maybe this wizard who held you. Either way. They both went to the same place. How do you know all this? I know it's very little myself. I, I can, however, link you up with a group of the nose. Or can be fine now. be not the best place to hold such a dialogue. I'd be having a place that would suit far better. It'd be just a short walk from here. Why don't I take you there right now? Unless you have some reason for not wanting to come along. How do I know this isn't some kind of trap? I have no interest in setting up a trap. Okay. This is something that we're forced into for very specific reasons. It's good to be seeing you Stop again. saying that. <laughs> no. That's that's his character tick is just being really fucking annoying. Uh, I kept up just fine. Now tell me what this is all about. That as quick as you blink. I'll tell you straight that I know a powerful group that can be helping you. They can be finding a wizard and a young woman, both they can. Don't type butts. But they can be doing far better than the telling, my friend. They can also affect a rescue of your last to boot. They can rescue him one? Of course I'm interested. Yeah, good. But you should know that... Stop it. You should know that it requires my friends to cross the cowled wizards. Not something you would be able to do on your own. I see, and what might this sort of help cost me? Might seem costly, but the, co the think of the danger in crossing the Keld Wizards. Fair price, if you think about it. It'd be 20,000 gold pieces for their help. That's a lot of money. That's pretty much how much money we had at the end of the first game. And Siege of Dragonspear. Yeah, that seems a little low. Yeah, but it's still a lot of money considering we have oh, yeah. literally nothing on of money. our backs. Except in this game where we're going to the epic levels. In this case, it's just a pittance of, you know, a yeah. couple hours. I don't have that much money. How am I supposed to raise such a fare? Well, I'm sure you have spent as much in the past and will again. Surely there'll be work in the city for you. Or perhaps some of your expensive goods to sell? It's too much to ask when I don't even know who'll be getting it. You might think so, but the offer I make is good whether you act on it now or not. You will come to see the reasonable nature of it, I'm sure. He may be right, David. It would take someone of power to find good information on the Keld Wizards. This may be your only opportunity to find him one. And it's Spend not like we have a shitload of characters with high charisma right here who yeah. just make some gather information rolls, but... Yeah. Spend not a coin now, then. Spe seek your fortune about the town, but remember that here is where your help is. Strangers are not always to be feared. Very well. I'll be back with the money. Aye, I'll wait for it. Bruss will be waiting for you outside. He's my nephew, and he'll show you to the Copper Coronet. You'll find work easily enough there, you will. There might be employment for you in the Copper Coronet. Our Lord Jiden was inquiring about you, I think. Fare you well, then. And give me greetings to let Letinon. Letinon? Latinan? If he happens, boy, eh? Okay. The deal is made, and you have a goal. Oh, I hate this art style so much. One. Your new friend has assured you that passage to Imoan can be bought. Though you are certain the final tally will include much more than gold. Any help Ooh. is welcome, however. And while the cost may be steep, your path is clear. Finding Imuin will lead to Irenicus and to answers long overdue. So, that's chapter one of Baldur's Gate 2. Oh, look, there's a thing happening. I forgot about this. These are the prisoners from the disturbance at Joaquin's Promenade. Speak up, I can't hear you. Not but their names. The mage is John Irenicus. The girl is Emowyn. I didn't do anything. He did it all. I had... Silence, child. Allow the fool to make his judgment. Why was this man not gagged? Did he not slay four of you? We dared not approach. Uh, regardless, <laughs> in the end... We thought he would bite. Willingly. What should be done with them, sir? They are deviants. Let them rot in spellhole. Deviants, huh? Mm-hmm. 
Well, here's the cool thing about the game at this point. Previously, we've uh, in Baldur's Gate 1, the world kind of opened up, but you were kind of limited in where you could go. Uh, in this game, we spent an hour and a half going through a dungeon, finally got out of the dungeon, we had to go here, blah, blah, blah. But now, the second that we leave this room, we can literally go anywhere in the world and do whatever the wow. fuck we want. Ventura. This is you, apparently. Oh, boy. Uh, something, something. Hi, Uncle Galen told me to give you a bit of help. So, uh, <laughs> you're some noble type, right? Uh, there's some rich fellow looking to hire here like you to clear the monsters off his land. Some Lord Jirden or other. Uh, I can take you there if you like. Sure. Yeah, I'll find mine. My... Okay, fine. Jesus. <clears throat> I was going to say let's find our own way so that we're not still being led around by the nose. Nope. We are on the railroad. All right. So here's the deal. Uh, at the start of the game, every specific so, character class... <clears throat> Shut the fuck up. Yes, strongholds. Every... <laughs> well, yeah, every character class gets a mission specific to them. So as a paladin, we get, or I get, the Lord Jirden quest. Um, if we were playing as a mage, we would be talking about the planar sphere, which we will still do anyway, by the way. Um, if we were talking about uh, being a fighter, we were talking about Nalia and her castle being overrun by trolls, which we will probably still do because Flail of Ages is one of the best things ever. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so where to now? Hmm, I don't really, uh, rightly know. I'm taking suggestions. I would suggest you get moving and decide on a plan, and never again say something like, don't rightly know. You sound like you were dropped as a child. <laughs> or kicked. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dalen. I do not wish to cause undue strain in our party. I'm merely a bit stressed, and I doubt, and no doubt you are as well. Think nothing of it, Jahir. It's understandable. Yes, but not acceptable. We are friends and should act as such. I, I apologize. So, uh, who's going to be your waifu in this game? Oh, I have to fucking choose, don't I? I mean, alternatively, we could go back to what we were doing in Dragon Spear, and you could get it on with Dorn. Hmm. Because that was <laughs> the pretty great. And the paladin? Yeah. Oh, star-crossed lovers. All right, Dorn it is. Ah, yes. Let uh, Yowie Gate commence. In any event, let's go into the Copper Coronet. And then next time on Character Select. Next time on Character Select, we're going to um, kill some people. Uh, murder some trolls, uh, go to the Dark Sun world temporarily, uh, fight a lich, possibly get a shit ton of money and magical equipment, and Savin's gonna paralyze me and probably leave me for dead at least twice. At least twice. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it. And, uh, Savin, uh, you know what I just realized? Uh, Unless we're really unlucky, the death counter is not gonna come up very often. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, Dave. Well, I figured if I could make you laugh with something as stupid as that, why not take the opportunity? <laughs>